Hello. If your childhood fell on the 2000s for sure you can safely call all the GTA games of the 3D universe the games of your childhood as well as similar games with the same fictional world or 3D levels. And even if you missed some of these games, you still heard about them from friends or saw how they play it. And in present time, we know some games at all only thanks to the mention of them on YouTube content. You are on the Mechanic Gaming channel and in this encyclopedic video voiced by some funny and ridiculous speech synthesizer, I will tell you about studio that made a huge contribution to the history of such an important period in the gaming industry as the era of 3D video games in the 2000s. Let's start. And we will start with a small and understandable example for many players. I want to show you these beautiful blue double doors in my favorite game GTA San Andreas. Not surprisingly if the same doors can be found in GTA 3, because these two games were developed by the same studio. But what about Driver 3? Or Scarface The World Is Yours? Or maybe Need for Speed, Underground 2? Yes, even in the crappy Russian project Brat 2 it is. Why do so many games use a photo of the same door among the billions in existence? Why this door in the back of an ordinary high-rise building in downtown of Vancouver in British Columbia, received such strong popularity? All old 3D games, including console exclusives before 2000 need graphic resources so that the player can see a beautiful three-dimensional world with models and textures corresponding to the scene which will create realism and recognition even for the most cartoonish object. And those early games consumed textures from the oldest Sazagetan libraries, which became known to a wide audience only in recent years thanks to a large community called Render96, where you can look at a lot of coincidences and facts about the usage of these images or their parts in various games of that era of happy childhood when people played Sonic the Hedgehog various versions of Super Mario, The Legend of Zelda, and other. But I want to tell you about the later period of this era, when my favorite GTA games were at the peak of popularity. My story begins with the fact that once upon a time a young Canadian 3D artist and photographer Jeff Holman, for the needs of a Marlin Studios company, made a number of photo trips in order to shoot a lot of pictures to create graphic resources that would later be formed into texture sets for use in 3D modeling. The most basic sets were filmed in the center and also in the coastal industrial zone of Vancouver, some a little further, in the town of Kelowna. And to create the great textures of Europe and great textures of the Orient set, the author visited some European countries and China. And this all happened long before Google Street View. Microstocks with an abundance of authors and resources, many specialized sites for 3D authors and other conveniences like smartphones with a camera that almost every modern teenager has these days. And Jeff started shooting with a 2 megapixel camera and had only 64 megabytes of memory on it. But this did not stop him from launching a product that facilitated the practice of many authors of 3D models and worlds, and also entered the history of world gaming with these textures, being present in many incredibly popular projects that people will never forget. I found out about this texture pack in 2021, when I saw it mentioned in the Mix Mods community of Brazilian mod makers Junior DJJR and Jessica Natalia. Later, I came across a video from the end of 2020 from mod maker Dim Zay, who demonstrated the found similarity of some textures in various games. And somewhere in that time range, I got hold of all the texture packs from Marlin Studios to search through these images for the ones I saw in my childhood video games. Many of them have several units or dozens of textures that match the source material in collections from Marlin Studios. But GTA games, 
There are hundreds of these textures used even despite the fact that 3D worlds in GTA games were mostly textured by exclusive photographs from those cities that served as prototypes for fictional in-game locations. It gives historical value to the project and helps the player feel exactly in the place that the developers wanted to depict. Not a secret that the whole world of our generation knows what GTA San Andreas is. We all know who is CJ, Sweet, Ryder, and right in front of Ryder's house, where his car is. The grass cover is a texture from Marlin Studios. The situation is the same with the next house, which has this image of a metal structure as windows. Another example around entrance of some type of residential houses with scratched obsolete surface. The reverse side of almost all billboards is a Marlin Studios shot, repeated many times. And this is just a small part of the hundreds of textures owned by this studio that can be found in the game Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Once. In order to help with the development of the Rosa project from Mix Mods, I tried to write out all the positions from the texture packs that I found in the game. And I'm sure I missed a lot by inattention. There were also textures from Texturama, images from Mitchell Frank, ambient light, shots by Jeremy Engelman and many textures of unknown origin, which are sometimes can be seen in other games but I can not find the authorship or original source. But textures from Marlin Studios clearly dominate the number of units involved in the entire game. A similar story with the games Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City, where you can also see a lot of textures from the same sets. And besides that, I want to show a list of games that deserve your attention, such as Mafia The City of Lost Heaven, Mark Echo Getting Up, Counter-Strike Source, Half-Life 2, Midnight Club, Manhunt, The Punisher, 25 to Life, 50 Cent Bulletproof, Crazy Taxi 3, Medal of Honor Allied Assault, Medal of Honor Rising Sun, Dino Crisis 2, Driver 3, Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, Need for Speed Underground, Need for Speed Underground 2, Burnout 2 Point of Impact, Resident Evil 4, Silent Hill 3, Silent Hill 4, Silent Hill 5, Tony Hawk Underground, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, Scarface The World Is Yours, True Crime New York City, True Crime Streets of LA, Hitman Contracts, Hitman Blood Money and dozens of other popular and important games. Nearly the entire Red Hot Chili Peppers legendary Californication music video was based on these textures. Yes. Even there is dirty 3D porn for perverts with cartoon ponies contains textures from Marlin Studios. Don't even try to ask how I found it. And that's just what I've managed to find over the past couple of years, and there are a lot of media products, video games and cartoons that I don't know anything about. The Marlin Studios website is no longer active, but through the web archive we can see its design and content at various times. The site describes some of the company's achievements as well as autobiographical details from the life of the founder of the studio, who has many activities and hobbies. Also in the early days of the site, there was a gallery of original work from users who could demonstrate their skill in texturing 3D models using textures from Marlin Studios packages. Based on up-to-date information, the last year of maintenance of the site was 2017. Now the most interesting thing is where it all is located. I conducted a rather long analysis of the contents of these packs and, using some search principles, found dozens of places where objects were located that were captured by a photographer 25 years ago. To do this, I even created Google Map-based markers that can be used to determine the approximate route of the photographer.
similar to those that I previously compiled for content photography in cities in the United States for GTA games from rockstar photographers who collected material in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, San Francisco, New York and Miami. Some frequently used relics have survived to this day, but there are places that radically changed in appearance or disappeared altogether before the beginning of the Google Street View period. Or they were destroyed during this quarter of a century. The same amount of time will pass and, perhaps, fans of 3D video games will be able to come to these locations to take pictures near the place that they saw in the game. By the way, in San Andreas you can remember about Catalina's hut, which our main character had to deal with more than once. So the window in this house in the forest is a window from a backyard shed of the author of these textures. Imagine how cool it is to realize that the window in your shed was seen by millions of viewers when watching cutscenes with Catalina. It is likely that someday this window will be appropriate to auction for the most in-depth video game fans. It is also present in the game files for Mark Echo, getting up, but is not actually used in the game. And remember the wall from GTA Vice City with a sign that points to Raymuir Avenue 252. I wonder how in this long period of time no one came there to steal it and become the owner of a unique souvenir found in video games. Indeed. About 25 years have passed and young people still play GTA San Andreas, Half-Life 2 and other games where you can see textures from the legendary packages, which will forever stays in our memory even when adult life comes to us to replace the carefree childhood. Press like button if you liked this video and write in the comments if you have something to add to my story. And now you have the opportunity to see more examples of Jeff's textures in video games.